In this video, Melissa will share how she uses a split class implementation model in her first grade classroom. She has 12 iPads for 24 students. I'm a first grade teacher in a north suburb of Chicago, and this is my first year e sparking with first graders. Um, eSpark, I've kind of just played around with it when it would be best in our daily schedule. I tried first just putting it right on top of our math time or part of our math time and teaching half my class and that just didn't really work for my structure so I found it best now three, four, five months down the line to make it a different part of our day and it, the kids have something to look forward to. They really enjoy eSparking at a different part of the day. Watch as students transition into the classroom and group one begins eSparking. Um, so we have an iPad iPad cart, and so, and we also have a special bin that we keep our headphones. So the other group who's not e-sparking, if they're not working with me, they know that their game materials will be on in a certain location, and they would just go there and pick up the materials. We kind of discuss that before we start e-sparking for the day. I try to divide them up with kids who I thought they could work well with, that I could group for small group instruction. So when I divide my class in two, I put my kids who were at the same level in one group and the other group has more of kids at the other level. That way if I was pulling a small group, I knew one group would be independent and one group could work with me on a skill that they needed to. So that's how I started grouping my kids. After 20 minutes, the timer goes off and the groups switch. So what I've used is the, the, a kitchen timer that I use in my classroom so when the timer goes off the kids are now know that it's time for them to clean up their materials and then they either put their iPad away or pass it off to their, their partner. They have an iPad partner and then we move on from there. Sometimes I just take half the class and work on the math concept that we're working on with just that half of the class while the other class e-sparks and then we flop so that I'm giving like a smaller group instruction. I also try to walk around when I'm not working with a small group and just check in with everybody as they're working in eSpark to see if I see they're doing the right thing. I learned along the way it just takes small steps and you just kind of have to do trial and error so they get to work at their own pace and um, it makes them take ownership for it. Yeah.